Hello everybody and welcome back to Purbeck. So we do have an empty pit, we emptied it at the end of the previous episode, which means it's now available for the maze later in the year. Uh, this pit however is still really full and we're going to be using some of this for the cows, but I should think most of it will be sold because we have over 200,000 litres here and we already have a load of silage bells. So yeah, that can uh, be gradually sold as and when we require it. But we are actually going to rest in just a minute and hopefully we're going to have some digestate. Uh, it would be good to get some digestate brought back to the fields so that we can keep those grass fields fertilised. Now many people have said, you don't need to bother with all that, just get a grass roller. It's a good idea, it definitely is a good idea, but I think at this stage, as we have digestate, as we are producing it, we should use it. And then, yeah, we'll probably just get a grass roller next year. Uh, we don't want to just keep doing the same thing over and over again, so we won't keep doing digestate and we won't keep doing grass rolling. We'll do digestate this year and probably grass rolling next year. So, there is the tanker. We're going to have to swap it over quickly. And, yeah, I'll head off and then we'll probably rest and we'll get it filled up in the next day. Although, actually, we do still have some slurry in there, so... Yeah, we actually have... <laughs> we've got several fields that I've never even touched. The, the one which really comes to mind is 45. That needs to be cultivated and drilled, ideally. Although, I suppose, first it should be cut, otherwise it is a bit of a waste. It's a bit of a problem, that field. Unless I do just cultivate it. Maybe I should do. I wonder if I can use this up here. I could take it to the BJ and get it sold. If that's not doing anything, I will do. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So we'll just sell this. We'll get it turned into gas and digestate. We, we definitely have too many grass fields. We need to have more arable fields. Now, the sunflowers will be ready fairly soon. We have this field over here as well, which I think was... Yeah, sugar beet. That'll be later in the year. But the sunflowers, they should be coming up pretty soon. Okay, so there we go. We'll get that unloaded into there. And we'll spin around. We probably don't have much digestate just yet. But we'll increase the rate of time now. And then we can refill in the morning. Hopefully we actually do get some. <laughs> I think last time I rested and for some reason nothing was produced. I don't know why. Okay, let me just press refill. See how much we've got. It would be so good if we have a full tanker load. Oh, we do. Nice. Right, so we're just going to spread this load onto the field. And as it is August, I would fully expect those sunflowers to be ready. So let me just quickly check. Okay, I expected wrong, but the canola is ready. So we'll do the canola. That's fine. We don't want everything to be ready at once anyway. That would just be really hard work. just want to say as well, uh, I did say at the end of the last Survivor Roleplay video that it was going to be around a month until the next episode. It's actually going to be a bit less than that. I have sorted out a few issues which I was having uh, much faster than expected, so it should be probably, it might be next week. I'm not going to guarantee it, but it might be next week. Probably more likely the week after. We may also have left this too long, so it might not apply. If it doesn't apply, then we'll just spread this on the canola field once it's been harvested. Right, speed and power. There we go. And we even got some air. Uh, right, now it doesn't look like it is too established. It should apply. This field here is fully fertilised. It is this one through here that we're working on right now. Do a lap of the headland first, I think. We'll just check to make sure it's working. Yep, that's working fine. Brilliant. I never actually cut into that little area just there. So there's no point fertilising in there. Yeah, it, it is, I would say, easier 
to roll it because of the working width we have here. I can see where you're coming from. I think the only difference is with the roller, it will reset it to the first stage. So, yeah, if you are where we are currently, it will delay things, but we're not even desperate for grass. So grass roller does make sense. We have the hay and we have silage. us out. It's covered a fair amount. We'll get another load in the future or we'll just uh, leave it, I don't know. As I said, we're not desperate for grass. So anyway, let's get over into the canola field. I'll drop off this tanker. I shouldn't actually be doing it with this tractor. I keep doing that. It's the Massey Ferguson's job. But we'll put this tractor onto the trailer and then we'll get it taken over to there. And then the combine. It will actually be the first time the combine's been out for a long time. Yeah, first time this year, certainly. Right, I have spun round. Bit of an awkward manoeuvre. But I'm ready to drop this off. Oh yeah, we probably shouldn't take the header on the combine. We should probably just tow the header trailer with a tractor. That can be the Massey Ferguson's job since we took its job. Yeah, we don't need the header trailer on such a big tractor. This tractor can be on the trailer. My trailer is just down here still. And do we need to reconfigure? Because we do currently have the high sides on. I don't think we do, but yeah, maybe. Maybe it'll only fill to the top of the solid part of the trailer. But I won't reconfigure. I will try my luck and we'll see how we go. I'm just wondering if I can go, because it's going to be a really tight area, this field. If I can go down here, there is actually a farm track that runs parallel to this canola field. If we can always time it so that we're in that sort of area, when we're getting close to fall, we could just unload over the fence, which would be <laughs> interesting. Yeah, we've got quite an opening here. That would work. There we go. If I don't destroy the fence. Well, that makes that easier. It is possible to take the header trailer with the combine, but we're never going to make it around this corner. And I still have my three bales there. Just slouching next to the road. You lazy bales. <laughs> I suppose I did knock them off the trailer. Can I get around the corner with the bales there? It's going to hit that one. Definitely going to hit. Oh, wow. And now I'm in the hedge. Well, we made it round. Even getting the header attached, actually, is going to be a bit tricky because there's not that much space. I think the only way of getting into here is by going into here first. Go right to turn left. It's a bigger gateway and we can do this. I wish we could put the header on here, but then we still have to go through here. So we'll just have to destroy the crop if necessary, if we have crop destruction on. Do we? Oh no we don't, okay. Some series I do, some series I don't. So that's good. Now for the combine itself. The Takano 450. Yeah, it feels like ages since I used this. I've just been sat there all winter waiting. Okay, here we are. So it's not a massive field. This combine should be able to do it pretty quickly. Yeah, it's actually this combine 
This command is the reason why we have that loan, which is just <laughs> still there, waiting for us to pay it off. Oh yeah, and we've got the straw. I have the extended straw types mod installed, so we can actually make even more money. Hang on, why have we lifted? That's weird. I never did lift it. I didn't pick it up. It's just going up a bank, is it? Okay. We'll have to get that from a different angle. But yeah, as I was saying, we need to bale the field. It's just class as standard straw, it's not canola straw. But I think it's worth doing. And it is filling up pretty slowly. So we should be able to go around the headland twice and then, well, maybe even a bit more before we have to unload. Well, I tried my luck, and it looks like my luck ran out. <laughs> uh, it does not go into that trailer, which does make sense, because it is for a loose material like grass, you know, grass chaff, that sort of stuff. Um, so we're going to have to get that reconfigured. I don't think we have a workshop, do we? Ah, yes, we do. I bought this, didn't I? So we can reconfigure it here. Jump. Right, so... Um, that wants to be changed, yeah, back to the five foot... Oh, no, one of these I did pay for. Uh, that's free. That's free. They're all free. No, we're going to go with... Um, yeah, that one, the six foot grain trailer. Because it's free. It might have messed up one of my other configurations. Hopefully not. Uh, but yeah, that's great. Look at that. A nice big trailer. And I think once we've unloaded this time, we can actually take this tractor back through the normal gateway because we've created enough space. I should have just done that before because I had a feeling that it wouldn't work, but it just wasn't enough. I still wanted to try it. So finally, after all that time, we can now unload if I can get over the barbed wire. Good, that's working. Uh, so actually, a worker can do most of this harvesting. We need to finish this second lap. I thought we would get round, but... No, it's yielded higher than I thought. But then after that, we can get a baler across to here. And we can start to bale things up. I think the John Deere can run the baler, just about. Certainly a good thing, getting straw from canola. I remember all the different mods that you used to be able to get. I don't know if you can still for FS22, but there was like a baler you could attach to the back of a combine, so you could bale on the go. There was one with a, a super wide pickup, which I think actually is in 22 somewhere on a third party site. Uh, so you could pick up loads and loads of swaths in just one pass. And I think there's like a sledge as well that goes on the back. But it'd be right in thinking it's like that sort of thing. Uh, so it collects them all up. But there's, there's some realistic and interesting machines that you can have, but then most of them are just sort of unrealistic. <laughs> uh, it gets things done faster though. Right, so I will stick it on a worker. Um, I don't know what kind of a mess it's going to make initially. Trying to take that angle, which I guess is alright, is it? 
seems slightly inefficient. Maybe I'll try that again. I will unload first because then we can keep it going for longer. There is the baler, which would be best on the class track, so we can swap actually. The John Deere probably can pull the trailer. And I'll get the worker underway in just a second. Right, so it's gone across there, which I think is alright. As long as it knows what it's doing, it's fine. It's probably not the most efficient way of doing it. Yeah, because it's going to leave an awkward triangle. But, yeah, we'll be right. And we'll have to bring that trailer around now. So I'll keep an eye on it. When it says 80% full, if I, if I catch the message, then I'll bring it around. Well, we are doing pretty well. The baler has now caught up with the combine. And the combine is just finishing off these awkward areas. I need to do that piece over there. And obviously the piece where the trailer is. The header trailer. But we can properly finish off the baling next time. We can get all the bales picked up and sold. I can't remember if we have a silo for the canola, because the price for canola is probably really bad. Oh, actually that looks quite good. <laughs> uh, it's not the best, uh, and it is actually increasing every month now. That is increasing dramatically. So, yeah, we, we can sell the canola maybe next time. We're going to have a fairly decent load here. But I'll just position this traction trailer over here somewhere. Uh, we'll move the one over there and we'll then tidy everything up. Yeah, this has always been an awkward corner. It probably would have been better just grass because then we can also come through the field to get the water. Because we have to drive through this piece to get water from the river. Maybe, when I retrill this, I will just do it as grass. It would make things easier. As you can see, for several reasons. Okay. And now, just that piece over there.
And there we go, we have our final piece done. Lovely. Yep, so we can finish off all that bailing and stuff next time. Let's go and unload the combine into the trailer. Hopefully it all fits. I don't know if it will do or not, we'll soon find out. Um, and then, well, I guess we'll just keep it in the trailer for now. But do we have a silo? Yeah, we do have a silo, okay. Yeah, I don't think we used to have one in previous versions of the game. But yeah, we do have one here, so that is going to be super nice because it means that we can store all of this until the price increases further. Uh, and it did fit 25,741 litres. Not bad. Can we make the turn? No, we're going to have to back up. <laughs> okay, well that's fine, we can just back up this track. That should allow me to get the turn that we need. There we go. Okay, right, we're in. So, we actually do have enough space just to drive straight through. It's a great silo. Great pit. But all of that from one field uh, is quite significant because we are going to be getting around £2,000 for every 1,000 litres. So, potentially, maybe £50,000, maybe more. We'll have to see. Um, but anyway, yeah, that is it. That's everything done. So we're going to conclude the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.